You know, he played with the most heart, you know, and at five foot three, the way that he could do things and, and how fast he was. He was a spark plug. I mean, I, <laughs> man, he had to be one of the fastest guys in the league. And, and I'm talking about this is with and without the basketball, so. Muggsy, obviously, the heart of that guy to be five foot three and play in the NBA, um, can't tell you how big a heart he has and how competitive he was. I remember him basically taking me under his wing and just telling him, like, young fella, all I want you to do is run. Don't let me beat you down the court. You know, and he was serious. He said, I'll find you. Just run. 64-58, Charlotte on top. Little fella, congratulations, man. Uh, we had some great times here at the Hornets. You've always been a leader, uh, both on the court and in the communities. Keep doing what you're doing. I appreciate everything you did and everything you taught me while I was in Charlotte. I wish I could have played my whole career with you, buddy. Congratulations. I'm so happy that this is your night. I love you, man. I've said my whole life, you're, you are a genius, and we're a genius on the basketball floor. All I can think about is the amazing memories that we shared uh, on the court uh, back in the early 90s. You know, and it's something that I'll treasure for a lifetime. You were not only uh, fun to coach, but fun to be around. And I've always said you'll be another Larry Bird in the NBA before there's another Muggsy Bogues. You're the best. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us tonight as we recognize a true Hornets legend. At this time, please direct your attention to center court where Charlotte Hornets managing partner, Curtis Polk is there, along with Charlotte Hornets president and vice chairman, Fred Whitfield, president of basketball operations and general manager, Mitch Kupchak, executive vice president and chief operating officer, Pete Gwilly, and executive vice president and chief administrative officer, James Jordan are at center court, where we welcome our special guests tonight in attendance. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for our special guests in attendance tonight. Now, please help us welcome the two players who played the most games with Muggsy Bogues during his career, Del Curry and Kenny Gaddison. And now, please help us welcome members of Muggsy's family. Bugsy's grandchildren, Tania and Samartine. His daughters, Taisha and Brittany, and his son, Ty, and wife, Kim. And now, Buzz City, get on your feet and greet the man of the hour. Selected in the 1988 NBA expansion draft, he remains the shortest player in league history. He's the Hornets all-time leader in assists, steals, and minutes played. From your original Charlotte Hornets, a 5-3 god from Wake Forest, the one, the only one, Muxy Boone. There will never be another Muggsy Bogues. A 5'3 guard in the NBA with a personality and heart that was even larger than the Giants he took on every night on the court. Tonight, we are proud to acknowledge Muggsy's 30 years of contributions to our Hornets organization and the city of Charlotte. Muggsy came to the Hornets in the 1988 expansion draft, and even though he stopped playing here in 1997, he has never truly left Charlotte since then. This city embraced him, and he embraced it right back, making it his home and raising his family. After his playing career, 
Muggsy remained in Charlotte, turning his focus to nonprofit, his nonprofit, Always Believe, which he has spent the last 23 years helping kids reach their full potential as students and become well-rounded, productive adults. It is my honor to present Muggsy with this key to Buzz City in recognition of his achievements both on and off the court during his time with the Hornets. I'm pleased to unveil this sale that will be displayed on the wall outside Section 103 to commemorate Muggsy's place in Hornets history. Muggsy, on behalf of our Hornets organization and our amazing fans, thank you for all you've done for our franchise and the city of Charlotte. We love you. You know I had to adjust that. First and foremost, I just want to thank God for allowing this to happen for me to take place. As a little kid growing up in the city of Baltimore, all I just wanted to do was play basketball. Just wanted to play basketball, not knowing they would come with so much criticism. But I am so thankful to be here today. You know, I'm thankful for Fred. Thank you, thank Michael, thank the entire staff. Pete, you guys, for allowing this day to take place for me because this is a special moment for me. 30 years ago, you know, this moment happened. I, my family and myself came into the city and they, op open, they welcomed us with open arms. It's never been anything less than that. They supported me, my family, the community has been nothing but blessed and grateful for me, so I'm truly thankful for that. It started here. This is where I really grew as a young man and to an adult. I'm so thankful for my family. They're here to share this with me, my grandson and my three daughters, my two daughters and my son and my wife. Gomez. And I just, last but not least, these two gentlemen that are standing over here at GAT, as they mentioned that we played the most game with each other. I couldn't do it without you guys. You know, Dell, you and I have been here the longest. I mean, our family grew together, we grew together, and I wouldn't have done it with anyone besides yourself, buddy. So you know I love you guys, I love you daily, and I'm grateful that you guys allowed me to have this night. Thank you so much. Buzz City. Let's hear it once again for Hornets legend number one, Bugsy Bone.